Do you know these three uncommon movements to the forehand rear? If you don't, stay tuned and we'll show you how it's done. So the three movements that we'll be showing you today are the jump out, the step up, and the dead jump. So first up is the jump out. This is going to stop the opponents from flicking flat to the back of the court and it also can allow you to be dangerous and hit some weapons. So for this movement there's three simple steps. The first step is split, the second step is jump and hit and the third step is recover. Split, jump and hit and recover. This is a very explosive movement and it requires a lot of explosive power from the legs. You have to be able to get up to the shuttle and intercept. As you can see here, Daryl is reaching up at the highest point and intercepting the shuttle. You'll also be able to get a better angle on the shuttle, which means the opponents will have to hit upwards and gives you more opportunities to finish off the rally by a net tap or a net kill. As you can see here, it's important to have a wide base but not only when you start, but when you finish the shot. This allows you to recover and then be aggressive on the next shot. As you can see in this rally, I jump out off of a return of serve. But you can also use this in other situations, such as when you block the shuttle and then they flip cross. This is good because you're intercepting the shuttle and you're getting the best advantage over the opponent. Whereas if you let the shuttle go behind you, for example for a neutralizer, then you'll be taking the shuttle a lot later and the opponent will be able to get a much better advantage. The next movement is called the step up. This movement is great for when you get slightly caught out by the opponent and you split slightly square because it allows you to get up to the shuttle still and not take it too late behind you and can still get you in a good position after the shot. I like to describe this movement with four simple steps. Split step behind, step up, and then recover. So that's split, step behind, step up, recover. As you can see from this next clip, when I split, my left leg goes behind and I push up as high as I can so that I can reach and intercept the shuttle. Without this explosive power off my left, I would not be able to get up to the shuttle and intercept. The shot I tend to hit when the opponents hit to the forehand rear and I use the step up movement is a clip because it maintains attack and it's fairly safe when hitting down at the opponent. This movement should be used in between a chassis jump out and a neutralizer because it's a little bit too hard to do a chassis jump out and a little bit too flat but it's too easy to do a neutralizer so we tend to use the step up. As you can see from these next rallies, I use a few situations where I have to use the step up. My favourite one is when I use the step up when the opponent hits a punch clear because I feel it allows me to get up and take it really early and get the advantage straight away. The next movement is a dead jump. This is a real dangerous shot to your opponents because you're getting up to the shuttle and hitting different angles and power shots. You also have a lot of variation that you can hit off this. You don't have to hit a smash. You can hit a drop, clear, at all different paces and trajectories. The movement we should be looking to use is split, run back, plant, and rotate. This is the fastest way to get back to the shuttle and allows us to get up to it. So split, run, plant, and rotate. This movement is a very explosive movement, but you will be using this movement when you get given a lot of time by the opponent when they give you a high lift for example, because without that time you won't be able to get back and get up to the shuttle. This movement is also a very good movement to get a big advantage on your opponent by making them split nice and low and it allows you to hit lots of different shots and get them in trouble. For me this is one of the hardest movements to learn because it requires three things, speed, power, and timing. Without those three things, the movement and the shot could crumble at any moment. The best time for me to get up to the shuttle and use the dead jump is when I play the net, because normally the opponent 
plays a high lift because they feel pressure after I play a net shot. You will find that you have more opportunities to do the dead jump if your net is being really successful and you're playing tight. If you're not playing that tight to the net, then it's quite easy for the opponent to flick flat and you won't get the opportunity to use the dead jump. Check out our new t-shirts and hoodies on our website which is jacobsbadminton.com and don't forget to get one before they run out. If you want to see the free common movements to this corner, click on this video here.